What is going on, Sacktown? It's Sacktown Pete back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. The biggest game in the Golden One Center era was tonight, and the Sacramento Kings lost tonight. And let me explain how and why they lost. Final score tonight, the San Antonio Spurs 113, the Sacramento Kings 104. Let's go and talk about tonight's game. Let's start off with the numbers of the starting five. Mo Harkless in 39 minutes, he had 12 points, 5 boards, 4 assists. DeLon Wright in 39 minutes, he had 17 points, 7 boards, 9 assists. Buddy Hill in 39 minutes, he had 17 points, 5 boards, 6 assists. Rashad Holmes in 33 minutes, he had 15 points, 5 boards, 5 assists. Marvin Bagley in 19 minutes, he had 4 points, 2 boards, 1 assist. Terrence Davis off the bench in 33 minutes tonight, he had 24 points, 3 boards, 1 assist. Damian Jones in 15 minutes, he had 6 points, 7 boards, 0 assists. Chimezi Metu in 12 minutes, he had 2 points, 1 board, 0 assists. Kyle Guy in 11 minutes tonight, he had 7 points, 0 rebounds, 1 assist. And Justin James played 1 minute tonight, and he had 0 points, 0 boards, 0 assists. The starting 5 for the Spurs. DeRozan in 36 minutes, he had 25 points, 6 boards, 3 assists. Uh, Devontae Murray in 35 minutes, he had 22 points, 5 boards, 7 assists. Uh, Jakob Portal in 35 minutes, he had 11 points, 10 boards, 4 assists. Walker in 33 minutes, he had 16 points, 1 board, 2 assists. And Johnson, 27 minutes, he had 16 points, 5 boards, 2 assists. All right, guys, hear me out on this. Um, we lost the game in the fourth quarter. Um, we That fourth quarter, Luke Walton outcoached himself. And let me explain. Uh, I know some of you guys saw my tweet. Uh, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you guys can follow me. I'll put the link in the description below for you guys. But I was pretty heated in that fourth quarter. And that's nothing against the the lineup that, that was on the court. They did a fantastic job of getting back in the game. Uh, before I talk about the fourth quarter, most of the game, it was back and forth. It was a good close game, you know, first three quarters. And then it got uh, tightened it down. It got, went down to the wire in the, in the fourth quarter. Uh, we did a fantastic job of, uh, you know, falling to uh, down, being down 10 and then taking a timeout and getting back into the game, uh, cutting the lead to three, the Spurs take a timeout. And my issue with that is uh, we're getting out rebounded. We go small ball. Uh, we just get destroyed on the boards. And the thing, my issue is, is that Marvin Bagley got zero minutes in the fourth quarter. I mean, that's just unacceptable. And let me explain why that's un unacceptable. Uh, obviously, I want to win. Don't get me wrong. I hate losing. And I just feel like if you're Luke Walton, why would you not give Bagley any minutes in the fourth quarter? Yes, hear me out. Offensively, he struggled in the first half. And he didn't do much in the third quarter. I still feel like he could have helped us in other ways in that fourth quarter with his energy and his uh, rebounding. Uh, we got destroyed on the boards tonight. We only had, for the game, we had 35 rebounds. Like, that's not going to cut it. We only had 35 rebounds, and we got out-rebounded by uh, nine boards. Spurs had 44. Um, I just don't understand how Luke Walton can... Marvin Bagley was your leading scorer the last four games. And the last four games, you're at 4 0 with bags uh, leading the way. Why would you not give him any minutes in the fourth quarter, Luke? I just don't understand that, man. I get it. You went with the lineup that was working, and all, all due respect for the players that were out there on the court. But when that lead was cut to three, in my opinion, I think you need to size, and you failed to make that adjustment. And you should have brought Marvin Bagley in when the lead was down to three before the Spurs went on another run towards the end of the game to seal it up. Um, Devontae Murray and uh, De uh, DeMar DeRozan were on it, and Rudy Gay made some big-time shots too. They had a lot of mid-range shots, and I really felt like uh, the defense could have done a better job of just defending that, but they didn't. You know, it's just, I talk, I talk about development, I preach development, and I really felt like Luke Walton just did a terrible job of coaching tonight. Um... You have a number two overall pick sitting on your bench that has led you, you led your team in scoring the last four games. Yes, he's had an offensively terrible game tonight, but I really felt like he could have helped in areas of need. Rebounding, for example. Um, you know, rotating, switching off the uh, off the bigs, you know, with him and Holmes rotating and switching off of one another and coming out and guarding. 
Uh, I felt like it could have been a lot better than what was currently out on the on the court. Um, it's just they blew it, man. Luke Walton blew it tonight with this one. Um, I really felt like this would have been a nice win, and with this win tonight, it could have been five straight. But Luke Walton just should have went with Marvin Bagley in the fourth quarter. At least give him some minutes. It's very important for his development, Luke. You have a 22-year-old rookie, number two overall former pick back in the 2018 draft. Uh, you want him to develop. You want him on the court. It's so important to give him minutes in the fourth quarter. And that's the thing that just frustrates, frustrates me, you know, with Luke Walton. You know, player development is everything, man. And this would have been nice to have him minutes get minutes on the court and develop and be, you know, have a, a positive effect on the rebounding. We could have got more rebounds of Bagley in the game. Yes, I know he had, uh, he had two rebounds, but he had four points. He was one of five. I get it. I get it. Everybody struggles offensively. I get it. But he only played 19 minutes. Like, I, well, like, what are you doing, Luke? I just don't understand that, man. I just don't get it. And um, I hate to say this because it's just, it's frustrating. It's mind-boggling. Like, you ride it out with your players whether they're struggling or not, man, in my opinion. And I think that Marv should have been on the court in the fourth quarter. You could have got at least some minutes to maybe give him a shot and have him get it going offensively. Now we'll never know because he never was never given a shot. And I just don't understand how you can give him zero minutes in the fourth quarter, Luke. I just don't get that, man. Other than that, okay, rant, the Bagley rant is over. Other than that, Terrence Davis looks like he's like the next Bobby Jackson, man. Monty McNair, a fantastic job. A fantastic job of picking up Terrence Davis at the deadline, man. Uh, we gave a bag of chips to get him. And I know he's got some off the court. He had, he had some issues off the court. Uh, people keep mentioning that that they don't want him back because of that. Listen, man, uh, he's been nothing but a valuable asset since that trade that we made for him. Uh, all the off-court, the drama and issues that he's dealt with, I think he left that in Toronto because I haven't heard much about it in Sac when, he's, when we traded for him in Sacktown. So I think uh, we've done a fantastic job of just acquiring him and all the off-court stuff. Uh, he left that all in Toronto. Um, and he's innocent until proven guilty. So... Uh, with that being said, man, like I, I'm happy for Terrence Davis. He did a fantastic job of shining tonight. Very productive off the bench, and I can see him being a Bobby Jackson six-man type of uh, player moving forward for our team. Um, I like what I saw from Damian Jones tonight, too. Yeah, the free throws were terrible, but he was very productive in 15 minutes. You know, 6.7 boards, moving his feet, you know, setting screens. I like what I saw from De Jones. Yeah, Rashad Holmes was solid tonight. Uh, Mo Harkless was solid too with 12 points, you know, and I mm -hmm. liked, I continue to like what I've seen from, uh, DeLon Wright, you know, 17 points, nine assists, seven boards, just another good, fantastic all around game. Uh, but I really felt like our defense could have been a lot better in the fourth quarter. And I felt like an extra big could have definitely helped out in the rebounding category. And, uh, Luke Walton did not even just match the size, man. They had Rudy uh gay uh portal they just were long and lengthy and uh they were very athletic we got to match that luke and i felt like he did a terrible job of doing that tonight so with that being said guys unfortunately it was fun while it lasted so the losing the, the winning streak is over at four and with now tonight's loss we are officially three and a half games back with like four to play so it is what it is, guys. It's uh, definitely uh, crappy, but I wasn't, I didn't want to get my hopes up too high because obviously we're missing two of our best players in Fox and Halliburton. And um, obviously if those two weren't, didn't get hurt, uh, this game probably could have been a lot different. The dynamics of this game could have been a lot different. But the reality is, is that, hey, I will say the Sacramento Kings have played a, a good basketball uh, last five games without those two guys. Um, this team, I'm proud of the team. The way they fought, uh, the way they made that late comeback, 
I just felt like in some areas in the fourth quarter, Luke Walton should have made some adjustments, and he failed to do that. And because of that, uh, him uh, failing to make those adjustments, that cost us the game tonight. So with that being said, guys, let me know what your guys' thoughts on tonight's game. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And, yeah, uh, I it's just uh, very fortunate that we lost tonight. Um, it is what it is. Uh, you know, win or lose, Sacktown Kings for life. You already know how it is. And let me know your guys' thoughts about tonight's game. And let me know your guys' thoughts about that uh, that Marvin Bagley getting zero minutes in the fourth quarter. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts about that. Um, with that being said, that's going to do it for me for tonight's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm very active on Twitter. I'll link my uh, Twitter link in the description. Go give me a follow. You know, we can talk ball on Twitter. And, uh, you know, I just appreciate you guys. Uh, definitely um, up in respect to you guys for putting up with this team just like I am. And, yeah, season's almost over, man. It's over. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what Money Maker will do in the offseason. Uh, I got a lot of uh, videos planned for the offseason plans, and uh, we can talk about the draft as well and knowing that where we're going to pick at first. So, all right, guys, well, that's going to do it for me tonight's video. Thank you so much again for tuning in. You guys take care. God bless. Have a good night. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, have a wonderful weekend, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.